The pot party continues as voters in Portland, Maine, voted yesterday to legalize marijuana for residents 21 and older. In passing question one, by about 70% of the vote, Portland residents may possess up to 2.5 ounces of marijuana, but it does not permit recreational purchase or sale. It also does not allow use in public spaces. The celebrations in the city kicked off while the votes were still being counted. You see this tweet here from Susan Sharon with pro marijuana legalization campaign awaiting election results in Portland, Maine. There's a belly dancer and a reggae band at this party. And just in case you thought that was just a bad joke or some weed cliche, here's a tweet of a party with belly dancing and a reggae band. All because oh of question one, Portland Pot. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> David Boyer of the Pot Advocacy Group, the Marijuana Policy Project, said that uh, Portland is just the next domino in a bigger uh, legalization movement. Do you think that there really are national implications to this vote, or is this just about one city, one vote, one belly dancer? No, it, it is national news. We are legitimately discussing it, and I think it does represent that uh, Pot continues to have mo. Uh, when it's put before the voters, and, uh, and and even though this is basically symbolic, it, it uh, you know it doesn't gel with state law, it doesn't gel with federal law. It still helps uh, folks like the Marijuana Policy Project keep the issue in front of voters. And I think the more people understand uh, pot and uh, you know its medicinal and other beneficial uses, the more they'll favor it. And that's been the trend that's been going on. For the past couple of years, I, I think this kind of thing, even though it's symbolic, it does help that trend continue. Quick question. When you say it doesn't jive with state and federal law, does that mean that people can still get arrested for having the weed? Well, you know, that, that, that's been the tension throughout uh, Barack Obama's presidency. States passed laws. The federal government uh, prosecutors still cracked down. Now, Attorney General Eric Holder recently said he wouldn't do that. In Washington, Colorado, but you you don't necessarily you, you still see that happen occasionally. And, and I wouldn't. Right to I mean, 